Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Pagabra Backpacking, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about hiking and backpacking shoes, what I use, kind of the evolution I've gone through with the shoes that I use, and why I like what I like. Now, what I like is my personal preference, and it may not be what you like, but learning how I came to what I, what I wear, maybe that'll help you figure out what works best for you. So let's do this. Okay, so anybody who's been watching this channel for any length of time and has watched any of my hiking videos knows that I have really shifted to the barefoot type shoe. So Morel Trail Gloves have primarily been what I've, I've used. Now I've used several different kinds. Now they have some that are called knit that the entire body of it is like a sock and then it's got almost like a little bit of an exoskeleton around it that holds the, uh, the laces. I have had problems with those. I showed that after my whites trip. I showed that I had to send a pair back. I actually just recently had to send another pair back because I had similar issues happen. And my wife has a pair that's having similar issues with hers. So I would stay away from the knit for right now as far as the Morel Trail Gloves go. Now there's three different levels that I've really gone through. So if you go super, super like minimalist, as far down the line as you can go, you get the Morel Vapor Gloves, and that's what these are here. Super, super flexible, really, really thin soled. It's a Vibram sole. Um, minimal uppers, but, but they're nice. I mean, it's, it's a comfortable feel. It's got a little bit of protection around it. The toe box, the toe actually comes up over the top and provides a nice protection for like kicking rocks and stuff um, and it's just it's a very comfortable shoe now I use these primarily for out walking on paved or really really groomed dirt trails nothing very rocky because that is very very minimal padding there there's no insole in here uh, there's like a sewn in insole but there's no removable insole or anything so that's what you get there these things are super light per shoe. So this shoe right here weighs 190 grams. That's 6.7 ounces. That is light. All right, moving up the line, still staying with Morels are probably my absolute favorite. These are the most comfortable shoes I have ever hiked in. Uh, I do a lot of backpacking in them. And these are the Morel Trail Glove Fives. Uh, fifth evolution of them, and they keep getting better every time. Now, some things change and I like, you know, I may like one thing from an er earlier model, one thing from a newer model, but overall, these are amazing. I walk in these most of the time. When I go out backpacking, this is primarily the go-to, but there are some, some downsides to them. Uh, still extremely, extremely flexible, uh, a little bit thicker than the Vapor Gloves. So these weigh in at 224 grams or 7.9 ounces per shoe. Uh, so still under a pound for a pair, which is, which is really nice. And the weight savings on the feet is amazing. These again don't have insoles in them. They just have the sewn in insole and then a Vibram sole. Uh, really nice on firm and dry ground. These things are amazing. Now, the one issue I have had with these, my wife has had with hers, is that they, for whatever reason, even though they're Vibram soles, when they get wet or they're on wet, not just, not like mud, everything's gonna be a little bit slippery in mud, but when you get on like a wet pavement or a wet concrete or wet rocks, these things do not stick well at all. They are extremely, extremely slippery, which is why I've moved to a new shoe that I've been trying out. So let's take a look at those. All right, the new shoe that I'm using is this one. This is the Vibram Barefoot. This is the Trail Primus or Primus Trail FG. FG is for firm ground. They also have an SG, which is for soft ground. Uh, and they've got a pretty decent tread pattern there that's a little bit deeper, a little bit thicker than anything on the Morels. And what that does is it gives you a little bit better footing in the wet stuff. And 
it really does, even though this is a Vibram sole and it, it's pretty sticky, I would say that the outsole, the, the sole of these Vivo Barefoots is even more sticky than the Vibrams. Um, plus, it kind of comes up a little bit further. If you look at the, the actual base of them, both of them have wide toe boxes, but the, the Vivos have a little bit wider toe box and a little bit wider in the midfoot area, which does, does help. Now, the one thing I will tell you is that when I got these, I absolutely did not like the, uh, the insole that was in them. Now, this, this pair of shoes actually does have insoles that are removable. What I ended up doing was going back to Vivo and buying a set of their cork insoles. And these, these are definitely uh, a lot more comfortable than the ones, the performance insoles that came with them. But just judging by looking at this, they're really thin. I don't know how long they're gonna actually stand up before they start really breaking down. Uh, I don't have a ton of miles in those and I can already see that there's a little bit of wear on those. So we'll see. These can also be worn without any insole in there and that may be the next step that I go with them. Now as far as flexibility, even though it's a little bit thicker of a sole, uh, it's still a really flexible shoe. You can roll it up and uh, so your foot really moves well with it. It's got nice mesh ventilation on the sides. Uh, the tongue is, is nice and thin, which that's one of the keys on all of these, is really nice, thin tongues. You don't want something that's thick. Uh, it just, it really doesn't help as far as I've found. So of these three shoes, let me tell you about what I think about them. Okay, so the Vapor Glove, great for out, going out on walks and training your foot to go barefoot. If you are thinking about doing it, this is a great one to really get your foot in shape. Now your foot does take some training to get ready to be able to go barefoot. Then, for the majority of stuff, this is the most comfortable, absolutely the best shoe I've found is the Morel Trail Glove 5. You can get these on sale. Uh, so let's talk about the price. $80 for Vapor Gloves, full price. $100 for the Trail Glow 5's full price and 160 for the Vivo Barefoot Trail Primus or Primus Trail FG. Let's see, it says it right on the side. Primus Trail FG, uh, 160. You can often find these on sale for 60 to 80 and you can often find these on sale from 40 to 60. So, I have never seen these on sale. You may find a 10% code every once in a while, but they're almost never on sale. From having a, a pretty good amount of time in these, they're definitely not as comfortable, not as flexible as the Trail Glove 5s. And so primarily if I get out, if I know that I'm on a trail that isn't going to be too rocky and I'm not expecting too much rain, too much water, I'm going with my Trail Gloves. If it's going to be a wet trip, or we're doing a bunch of river crossings or anything along those lines, these Vivo Barefoot are gonna be what I go with. Now, I moved away from the full boot, the full trail runner, and went to these because I can feel the ground underneath me. They're lighter, and so I kind of move a little bit quicker. Oh, did I talk about the weight? 10.4 ounces, 295 grams for these ones. So a fair amount heavier than these ones. Both of them are quite a bit heavier than these, but I honestly wouldn't recommend these for any backpacking. Uh, the extra weight on your back, these probably aren't going to do all that well. For hiking, uh, if you're going out for a day hike, these will probably work great, as long as you're not on anything that's got too sharp of a, a rock. So, going forward, these are the two that I will be using most of the time on the trail, ranging between uh, what the trail actually looks like. So, I have owned four different pairs of these ranging from the twos all the way up to these fives and I'll continue to buy these. Um, if you can find them on sale, they're absolutely a steal. The feel beneath your feet, being able to feel the trail and know what's going on, yes, it takes a little bit of time to get your feet ready and get your feet trained to do that, but man, I love hiking with these. And they always say a pound on the foot is equal to five on your back. 
So by switching to something like this, if you can get away with it, if it's something that you can do, um, it really does save your legs and save your body throughout the day. So anyway, guys, that's what I do. Why don't you tell me what you like, what kind of shoes you use, and if there's anything you recommend, leave those comments down below. Let us know so we can all see what works for you. I hope you guys learned something out of this. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys down the trail.